welcome back to our conversation today on anti-aging. With me in the studio is Dr. James Machino. He has authored the book called the books called the Machino Optimal Living Program and the Wrinkle-Free Zone. Now, before we go back to Gloria's question, many people are um, inquiring where to get a hold of these two books. Well, they can get both books by just uh, contacting uh, Nutra Therapeutics, and I think I gave your your people the website mm -hmm. and the 800 number, that one triple eight two five one ten ten. The Machino Optimal Living Program is right now widely available in chapters in Indigo across right. Canada okay. as well, so they should be able to find those in bookstores as well. Now, Gloria called in. She's on the line, and her question is concerning arthritis, a horrible problem with it. Yeah, Again, and, and she very was, common. Yeah, she was alluding to, I believe, a, a type of osteoarthritis. Yes. And so, you know, over time, this is part of the aging process. Mm -hmm. We think of it as a wear and tear disease, but nature sets us up for this problem. I'm going to tell you how you can combat it in the early stages mm -hmm. and prevent mm -hmm. it. And that is that the body, as we get older, makes less of a raw material called glucosamine. Mm -hmm. And without that glucosamine, the cartilage in our joints can't be formed properly. So now the rate at which the cartilage uh, breaks down is faster than the rate at which it can repair itself. So eventually you have a, a total uh, erosion of the joint cartilage and you get almost bone rubbing on bone and that causes pain and inflammation and deformity. If people would use the right amount of glucosamine sulfate as I talk about in the book, mm -hmm. the exact dosage, at, starting at age 40, to give the body the raw material that it no longer is making for itself, then you can slow down the rate at which that cartilage undergoes degradation or breakdown and prevent it from getting to that point where it's so clinically uh, significant that she now is seeking the help yes. from uh, you know, probably an orthopedic surgeon and what other experts. In certain cases, even once the damage is done, using a combination of glucosamine sulfate with some natural anti-inflammatory herbs that I talk about in the book, yes. curcumin, boswellia, and uh, white willow bark extract and ginger. When you put those together, you get a nice anti-inflammatory effect to contain the inflammation and start to possibly rebuild the cartilage or improve the integrity to the point where now the joint can function again, hopefully forestall, forestalling or preventing the need, the need for knee, knee replacement surgery. Hopefully you can avoid that. Some cases, the damage is so extensive you can't avoid it. So I'm saying use the preventive things where you can. Mm -hmm. And in the, in, in the early stages, the diet that I talk about in the book with the essential fats to reduce inflammation, the right herbs to control the inflammatory response, mm -hmm. and the use of glucosamine sulfate at exactly the right doses to rebuild the cartilage, in many cases is highly useful. And it's worth trying because there's no side effects to doing it. Now, unfortunately, women are more susceptible to bone loss at middle age. I've heard it said that women, in fact, even girls, teenage girls, should start on a calcium supplement early. What do you recommend in this, this area? The, the National Institutes of Health mm -hmm. revisited calcium recommendations a few years ago. They said, you know what, we, we, we made a huge mistake that mm -hmm. boys and girls between age 11 and 24, if they want, that's, that's the critical time when calcium gets laid down into bone at the greatest rate of efficiency. And during that time period, those young adults need you know, anywhere from 1,200 to 1,500 milligrams a day. Most of them don't get it from diet. So giving them supplementation to get them to the peak bone mineral density they can attain is very important. Now, if you can maintain that up to age 50 in a woman, you need only 1,000 milligrams a day to do that after age 24. But after age 50, as estrogen levels drop off as you go into menopause and progesterone levels drop and testosterone drops off, that allows calcium to leak out of bone, goes into the bloodstream, gets filtered by the kidneys, and you don't realize it, but every time you urinate, you're urinating out calcium that was once in your bones. Now your bones are becoming parotic or, or more porous, leading to osteoporosis and, and fractures. So you say, well, what, you know, what does a woman do at age 50? Well, studies show if you give her a higher amount of calcium, up to 1,500 milligrams a day, with additional vitamin D to absorb that calcium, you can slow down or even prevent bone loss if she's also doing some physical activity that stimulates calcium to stay in bone or to increase bone density. There are, li there are natural lifestyle management things, but you have to know what age the person is and you know, exactly what dosage of those nutrients they require, how much are they getting from their diet, and how much do they need from supplementation. And that's why I believe 
everybody should read the Machino Optimal Living Program to get the whole story and figure out you know, where your needs are so it's specific to you. So you're saying the vitamin D is necessary for the absorption. I've heard many say that magnesium is necessary, or is it a combination of both? Well, you know, you need, there was one amazing study that showed that magnesium at 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day supplemented could actually have as good an effect on preventing bone loss as just giving calcium at, say, 12 or 1,500 milligrams a day. I think both are important. So I tend to encourage... Um, after age 50, uh, women to get the 1,500 milligrams of calcium. Most women get from their diet about seven or 800, so they have to find the missing uh, 800 milligrams or so. A, a really high potency multivitamin that I outline in the book will contain at least 500 milligrams and get you close. And then that additional 500 milligrams of magnesium and a good multivitamin will have, if you look at, a, at most vitamins, they'll have 400 IUs of vitamin D. It's not bad. But after age 50, both men and women should take vitamin D supplementation up to 800 international units a day because the body is less able to convert that vitamin D into a more, the most potent form of it because you, certain enzymes drop off. So you need to have some backup vitamin D that's at a lower potency floating around in your system to make that calcium stay in bone more efficiently. So as I outline in the book, after age 50, you get your vitamin D up to 800 to 1,000 IUs. So if you take these measures and, and you go ahead and you have your calcium and your vitamin D, can a person actually start to see any reversal of the process of bone loss? Great study out of Tufts University, mm -hmm. Dr. Nelson, published in the Journal of the American Medical Association uh, just a few years ago. First time we ever saw it that at that anti-aging division of Tufts University, they're looking at how do we do this naturally without drugs and surgery? That's what they want to know. Is it possible? Here they took women who were postmenopausal. They weren't on any hormone replacement therapy. Gave them the calcium amount that I'm talking about today to make sure they get enough calcium. Gave them a, a real simple weight training program to do just twice a week for a year, measured their bone mineral density. What did they see after one year? Not only didn't they lose bone mineral density, they gained some in the mm -hmm. postmenopausal years. And the women who didn't do the exercise program and didn't take the calcium lost calcium from both their low back and their hips, where these are the most critical areas of mm -hmm. calcium loss to lead to fractures and disability. And so that, you know, we, so we have absolute proof that these lifestyle measures can actually help you regain calcium back in bone and make them stronger. Now, as we, we talked about briefly, hormones play a huge factor in, in the aging process as a whole. Y you indicate this in your book, and you also talk about flaxseed powder. Now, I want to get to that and, of course, to those waiting on our phone lines after this break. We'll be back after this. Stay tuned.